I L two nineteen forty six. Let's play a historical campaign. And the campaign was created uh, by Lars and Vaughn, and they post uh, their campaigns for download at Mission for Today. Uh, I'll provide a link in the description. And this campaign takes place during the Phony War, a pre declared war in 1940. Several countries are maneuvering, and the Dutch want to stay out of it. When you download the campaign, you get this really informative PDF, and uh, Lars and Vaughn really did a lot of research and, and put it all into the campaign. Uh, it covers the pre-war historical background all the way into hostilities. And I did not know that the Dutch actually fought a two ocean war as they had interest in the uh, East Indies and they had to fight alongside the allies against the Japanese. And it's all covered in the PDF and the campaign as well. It's all part of it. So you really get a lot of uh, different theaters, a lot of action and a lot of different planes to fly. And another plus is uh, Lars and Vaughn also included uh, many detailed uh, paint schemes for the aircraft, the actual uh, paint they used during the war. Pretty good stuff. All right, we're gonna move forward into mission one. And our uh, goal is to keep intruding aircraft from flying over our airspace. And we pick up a contact. Shoot or not shoot is up to our discretion. And we're picking up what appears to be a uh, foreign aircraft. And he's not breaking off. He's continuing his course into our airspace. We fire across his bow, or more like into his bow, and he still continues. So our flight goes into full retribution mode. We've scored multiple hits on the target. And the target goes further into our airspace. So we put some more rounds out. Lined up through the gun sight, score several hits. It appears the enemy aircraft is ablaze, so we're going to break off. And the hostile contact now heads out over the ocean, so we're going to break off. Right, he's out of her airspace, so we're going to clear out. All right, we're going to head back to our airfield. And it's a little difficult to see as we've got some low fog. So if you press the tab key in game, and then the number nine, 
Uh, that's the ground crew, followed by the number two. Uh, you'll get the heading to your airfield. It's a pretty neat feature in the game. So we've located our airfield. On final, getting center line, throttling back, and we're flying a, a, a Forker single engine fighter. It's a really good plane, very maneuverable. Good guns, too. Four machine guns, two in each wing. Very easy aircraft to fly. Landing was no issue at all. Squeaky brakes. All right, we got a mission victory. Let's be a good pilot and taxi off the runway. Let's head, head over to the hangar area. All right, let's get some air. All right, and here's that aircraft uh, paint that we were going over earlier. Really nice detail. Authentic markings and everything. All right, let's check our score. All right, we got credit for that uh, air-to-air -air victory that contact was uh, later identified as a, a German Kegsmarine a single engine a float plane and we got credit uh, we show an aircraft loss I'm not too sure why uh, but we got uh, 300 points for our first mission and we made it back safely. So it was a good start off to this campaign. Please follow along by subscribing. Like, hate, subscribe. We'll see you up again soon.